The reason why we went with Detroit style pizza, honestly, is because I'm not good at stretching dough. <laughs> and there you have it, America. Hi, I'm Katsuya Fukushima uh, from Washington, D.C. I'm the chef and owner of Tonari Restaurant. And today we're making Wafu Detroit style pizza with mentaiko. Okay, so we're starting with the dough. We have bread flour. We're dumping right into the bowl. Obviously with this recipe, you could use AP. At the restaurant at Tanar, we use Hokkaido flour. It's very special. When you eat it, it's super light and has this beautiful chew to it, like uh, almost like a mochi. I don't know, I guess you gotta come down to DC and try it. Come and come, come. Salt, sugar, yeast. You don't have to bloom it. All you do is just add it to the dry ingredients. Give this a nice little stir just to incorporate everything nicely. Feels nice. We're gonna add the rice oil. And we use rice oil because it's just a staple of Japan. It has a nice flavor. Pop this back in. We use a dough hook. Then we're gonna just add the water. It's a very wet dough and it creates a nice crust and it's very fluffy. All right, crank this up. And you can just set it on medium and let it go for about eight minutes. It'll come together. Now it's pulling off the edges. And you just want to work the glutens. It's come together. Everything's out of the bowl. This is good. It's very bouncy. So this dough is based on Detroit style pizza. Very wet. And the only difference between this dough and Detroit style pizza is the fact that we use rice oil. We use a very special pan. It's a Detroit style pizza pan. It's blue steel. So this pan is very iconic in Detroit. It came from the car workers where they put the tools and nuts and bolts, loose things in this pan. Someone said, let's make a pizza and let's use these blue steel pans that we store our shit in. But if you want to make a Detroit style pizza, definitely use these. So you want to divide this up to like three equal parts. There you go. Pull these in towards the center. The bread is key. I think it's probably the most important part of the pizza. I just love Detroit style pizza. So here, rice bran oil. Get the bottom, get the top. We're gonna throw this in the refrigerator for three days. And we'll see you in a little bit. Now we got our pizza dough that's been sitting for three days. Look at that, nice and proofed. Pick this up gently. What I like to do is flip it on the other side just to get the other side coated. I try to be very gentle with it because it's just a very delicate thing. All right, so we're gonna stretch it out to the corners. Work your fingertips and push out from the center out to the corners. It's okay if it doesn't reach completely to the corners because we're gonna let it proof another two hours. Our plastic wrap, cover it up. There you go. Let that proof for two hours. Meanwhile, we're gonna make our corn sauce. We have this delicious canned corn. The reason we use canned corn is because canned corn is harvested and processed at the peak of its existence. It's beautiful, yellow. I'm sure it's sweet and delicious. We're gonna strain it, reserving the juices. We're gonna save that. We're gonna put the corn all in there. The reserve liquid. Blend this guy up. All right. So we got the corn straining. We just strain it because we're fancy and we want to get all the casing out, make it more refined, make it nice and silky. So wafu pizza doesn't really exist. Wafu is basically Japanese style. Wagyu is wa for Japanese and gyu means cow. So Wagyu is basically Japanese style beef. We're trying to bring Wafu pizza, create it, and bring it to, to America. That's what we're trying to do. The Japanese are good at taking what's out there and making it better. Sorry. We're gonna turn the heat on. We're gonna season with a touch of salt. We want to reduce this down to a corn sauce, which is gonna replace the tomato sauce. Now we're gonna break down the brick cheese. So brick cheese. Detroit style pizza isn't Detroit style pizza if you don't use brick cheese. And the reason they call it brick is because it usually comes in a brick form. Brick cheese 
it's comparable to maybe if Monterey Jack and mozzarella had a baby. It's high in fat, it melts nicely. When the cheese melts over the pizza and, and the oils creep down the sides and goes underneath the dough, that oil helps crisp up the bottom of the pizza dough. I think we only need 10 ounces for one pizza. That's plenty. Cheese. Look at that, that is a beautiful yellow. If you looked up yellow in the dictionary, this would be it. All right, now we're gonna turn it down and we're gonna let it go. We're gonna go to our finishing sauce, which is labne. It's gonna give a nice zing to the pizza. It's gonna be a great combination with this beautiful egg mayo from Japan. So this is probably my favorite mayo besides Hellman's and Duke's. I guess I just love mayonnaise. I do, I love mayonnaise. Look at that. To this, we're gonna add some mentaiko. So mentaiko is cod roe. You can see that the roe is still in the sack. They salt it and then they have togarashi, which is Japanese chili. Let's peel the sack away and squeeze it. You could buy the ones already out of the sack, but this is better. This is the really good stuff. Let's put a little bit more, right? Let's put a little bit more. Yum. Yum, yum, yum. All right, give this a little whisk. This is waffle right here. Now into the fridge. Oh, look at this sauce. That's like Tweety yellow. Super yellow, super smooth. Oh, this is just perfect. We're gonna chill this, and once it's chilled, we're gonna build our pizza. We got this dough that's been sitting out for two hours. Look at that, that's nicely risen. It's filled in the corners. We're gonna bring the this brick cheese. And the key here is building it from the edges in. So you wanna be generous in laying the cheese up against the corners, up against the edges. It's gonna melt. It's gonna fall down between the grooves of the dough and the pan. The oils are gonna creep down, get underneath the dough, and it's gonna basically sear the bottom like a, like a grilled cheese. We're gonna put the sauce on top, just like a Detroit style pizza, where the sauce goes on after the cheese. I'm gonna give a nice little dollop here and there. Corn, sprinkle it around. That's a beautiful color. So, boom, we got this, and we're gonna throw it in the oven. The best spot for it, actually, is the bottom rack, because you're getting direct contact, the hot metal, with the bottom of this pizza pan. Ooh! Oh, it's so light. All right, so pizza's out of the oven. We've allowed the pizza to to cool slightly, so now it should come away from the edges. There you go, there you go. Don't be alarmed if it looks dark. It's not burnt. It's actually where we want to be. We're gonna give it a nice cut. Oh, no chive action. Don't be shy. Corn and chives are friends. And, Oh, look at that. There you go. Boom. This is our waffle pizza. We're gonna bring a waffle pizza to the world and take over. You're gonna love it. I love it. You're gonna love it. Yum. Yum. It's the best pizza I've ever had. It's light, it's fluffy, it's airy. You got the crispy bottom. It's just good stuff. For the recipe, click below. Come see me at Tanari Restaurant. Thank you so much. Perfect. Anything else you want to say? Nope. <laughs> All right. Well then